Man, you guys see this stuff? Look, first of all, welcome back to the channel. Steven's Garage 216 here in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. At least it's beautiful today. Wait five minutes. The weather might change. Um, this garage has been ran into two, three, four times, and I personally am the dumbass that did it. So, so sorry about the crazy dogs, whatever. Look, I personally have been the one that drove through the garage door and ruined it, and then I, you can see I've tried to support it, get it to stay there, so guess what? It's a part of the garage. It's a part of the channel. Got to have a garage door on your garage, right? We got a new garage door, and we're going to throw it on as fast as possible. I'm guaranteeing you we only have about two, two and a half hours of light. Take a look at the sun. You can tell. <laughs> She's like, nope. So I guarantee we only got about two and a half, three hours of light tops to slam this new door on. And the first step is getting this one off. So uh, what I'd like you to do, uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I didn't think I'd get over 100. Here we are over 200 and the channel's still growing and I don't care how long it takes to get there. We're just going to keep on going. Make sure you like this video. Comment below. Let me know you like the video. Want to see more stuff like this or just strictly stick to cars. But today's video, here in about the next 10 minutes, you're going to see this door. Bang, 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 bang. And we're going to bust it out. <laughs> so let's get to it. So you can see we have already got a section off. The very first section. And we're going to show you here. <laughs> Look how this looks from the outside. That's crazy. So here's what we got going on. Everywhere you got a hinge and or a wheel, you're undoing all four. And I know it seems weird, but what I'm doing is I, I have a thing for saving nuts and bolts. And, you know, you never know what you could use a wheel for later down the line. So I'm going to hoard all this stuff. But everywhere you have... A hinge you're just gonna take a piece off take a piece off take a piece off and as you can see the very first thing I did was I let the garage door all the way down clamped the pair, pair of vice grips onto the the spring that's what helps you raise and lower the garage so you close the door all the way down vice grip it there and then lift the door up and set it on a ladder like this that way you're not bending down for each section. So, again, we're going to take this hinge off. Then we're going to take this hinge off. Then we'll take this hinge off. And then uh, we'll take this section, go lay it down over there in the grass, and then let this section come down to the ladder, and that'll be the next piece that goes. Let's get to it. Got it? Keep going. There it goes. Middle. And then, oh, you have to come back over to this one. We have to do all four on each hinge. This might make it drop a little bit. Okay, I got it. Oh, grab the wheel, slide it back in there, and then we'll just save everything in a box. So that's what you're gonna do all the way across. Then we'll take those two off there, and we're gonna take all four off there. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is how to get those on. So I got the bottom panel on, which I just kind of wasn't thinking about this, but I was also, I've also never done a garage door, so I'm literally doing this flying off the seat of my pants guessing my way through it so but I do have the bottom panel on sort of and what I want to do next is <clears throat> we're going to get this top panel uh, set up so they've got this right here so these right here that'll come with your new garage doors these go on like this So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this in like this and then get it, 
this hole right here in the middle that my thumb is pointing at. And this hole right here at the bottom where my thumb is pointing at. We're going to get that to line up with this hole and that hole. And then get the screws in. So you put the wheel in like this. I'll, I'll, I got to get a hand free, but uh, we'll get those holes lined up and get those screws in. And I'll show you that here in just a second. And the next top piece. Glasses, no glasses. I'm gonna set that in. Set the wheel in first, like so. Got our gun. Pause. And then, oh, this is the kind of things that happen to me every day, all the time. So, just so you can see so far what we got, this is your top, and it always goes on your top panel, okay? We shot for a screw there, and there, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'm not replacing my rails, even though it came with new ones, just because that's a lot of extra work, and we're trying to beat a two, two and a half hour time, and you can see the sun's already to a certain point, so... Um, and my spring, everything here is still good. Still good working order. For the price I paid for this garage door at the local home improvement store, I, it, was, it was worth it to me just for the four panels. So I've got that on, and now we've got a hinge started. Okay, we got screws there. Now we're going to take and grab another panel. We've got a panel there and a panel there, and they're all the same except the first one. The first one you can tell is the uh, bottom because it has a rubber lining or like seal on the bottom underneath that lip right there. And that's obviously the first plus. It has the spot for those uh, that hold the wheels. It has a spot for those to like kind of click and lock into place. So now I'm gonna go get my next panel and what I'm gonna do is get this screw and that screw and then on the other side and then come back and get the middle hinge and then that'll be that. Yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four, four panels. We're not done yet. As you can see, I'm, uh, I still got to put a hinge there, but I wanted to show you uh, something that, you know, I don't read the instructions. I'm not very smart, but I want to show you the difference and what happens when you use the wrong hinges in the wrong place. So on the outsides, the far left and the far right, these hinges here that have these two slots in them, this is what you wanna use on the outsides for the wheels that go into the rail. Just like that, this is correct. This that I just realized what I had done is wrong. This here, this hinge here, is the one that belongs right there. So I'm gonna get this hinge back off. I'm gonna get it on there where it really goes and get the other hinge like that. Uh, one goes there, one goes there, and then on the other side. But I wanted to show you the difference. These hinges are the ones that go in the middle of the door. And these double ones here like that, not double, but you can see, and what it is, if you look at it from the side, see how the hole that the wheel is in is actually further away? That's what keeps the garage pushed closer to the edge. I wanted you to see that so you don't make that mistake. So, and uh, if you look at the time, yep, you see what time that says? The sun's almost down and we're almost done. Let's get finished, let's get to it, and I'll show you the rest. All right, here we go. I got all the hinges and everything in. Another mistake that I made because I don't like to read instructions is that this piece here does not go all the way to that top hole there in the middle at the end of my finger. Does not go there. 
Although it may go on your garage, just on my garage, it does not go there. I had to move it down because what I noticed was this right in here, right there, in the middle of my fingernail there, what, at least what it looks like on camera, is the actual door opening and the garage door to the outside, see, was not all the way like that. Uh, up there it actually had this big wide like two inch gap so this had to be lowered down and then the top screws above there see those those had to be loosened so that that could slide back and go there where it goes and then again I already told you about the these hinges here the wheels go here and uh, you actually only get them for there or for here, here, okay, and on the other side, same thing, connecting number two and three gets one, and connecting three and four gets one, and of course the top gets that again, but the bottom connecting door, or panel one and two, which I'm counting the one towards the floor is one, gets that style, on both sides and then the matching ones like it go right in the middle and I got the uh, spring and cable hooked back up right there's your cable that's your spring took my vice grip back off the edge of that and there it is it's a little tight because I gotta tell you. And I gotta figure, I gotta get a handle. I'm sure there's a handle in that package. That spring might be a little wound up tight. Let's take a look in the package here. The only thing I see are these. There's the brand new garage door. <laughs> Man, I can't, that worked out great. We got handles. And we got a new latch for our lock. What do you know? Now, what I, on the other garage door, there's one of those mid door, you know, locks right there, but I don't have the key for it anymore, so I ain't gonna worry about that. But so I gotta get a, a new seal for this side. You gotta get some half by whatever that is, probably like two, half by two, something. I'll probably just throw something different on there, and a new seal for there. But other than that, that's that's it. I got it wound just a little extra tight and uh, the only problem with that is that as you can see I, I barely had to lift it so it wants to pull it up all on its own but I'm fine with that and look the sun is down what does that say right there uh, yep two and a half hours just in time uh, that's it other than I got some mess to clean up that's our video. I'm telling you that was so easy. Let's take one last look at all the hinges and stuff inside. This kind of hinge, hinge puts one and two panel together. This kind of hinge with a number two on it puts panel two and three together. And this kind of hinge that's got a three on it puts three and four together. And then this, uh, remember, remember what I was saying earlier, yours might not go like this. Yours may mount all the way up here. It may mount down here. It just depends on where your, your, your uh, rails and stuff are. But here in the middle of the door, they're all three are single. So one and two get single, two and three gets that kind of hinge and three and four gets that kind of hinge and then 
uh, like I said. So when you first start, remember, you have the door all the way down. Put your vice grips on there. There is a tool that comes with a new comes with your new garage doors, so that you can lock your thing. And uh, that's it. So that's it for Stevens Garage Two One Six. Garage door is on. I'm excited. I'm very happy. And in a very short time, and this is a short video, and I will have some bonus footage for you. And that's going to start right, uh, well, in a second because I just wanted to say. Thanks for watching the channel. Really, I hope you guys like what I got going on here. I'm not going to make a video of showing how, to, how I got to clean your garage, but soon, very soon, you're going to see a clean garage and we'll have all this straightened up. I'm glad you guys are being good to one another and trying to. Uh, trying is more, more than you could ever imagine for, for somebody, anybody out there. Just being good and kind to one another. Here's your bonus footage. We'll see you next week. Bye. Well, here's your bonus footage. As you might have seen me say in a couple of videos now, that this is the luck I've been having for the last couple of weeks. Look at this. The uh, end of the fender there got exploded. You know, <laughs> I'm not even quite sure what I hit in the road. I was on the highway uh, down in Akron, heading my way back up here this way to Cleveland, and uh, the only thing I saw on the road when we heard the boom, it, like it was a, from the fiberglass, I mean there was dust that literally like flew, and uh, when I pulled over and looked and I saw that, I looked back out in the road on the highway and it looked like, I, I looked like what I thought was out there might have been a raccoon laying in the road. It could have been a piece of truck tire from a semi or something, but we hit something obviously pretty bad there. Damaged the fender. It lost this little filler piece that kind of sits like right here behind it. And then you can see that the uh, rocker, the fiberglass exploded there. <laughs> and uh, what great bonus footage, right? We get to. Man, this is so ugly, I won't even drive this for the next month or so until it gets dropped off, which I think it gets dropped off uh, Monday next week, and uh, it'll get dropped off and get a new fender painted and put on it and all that stuff, and a filler, the, the filler that goes underneath here. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to show you under, underneath it real quick. Yeah, that's the rocker underneath the door. Here's the little filler piece I was talking about that's exploded. Complete garbage. And the whole bottom of the fender is just... You've seen me pulling that out. It's gone. It sucks. I won't even drive it like that. There's no way. Can't do it. Here's your bonus footage. She's got to go to the shop. So, figures, as soon as the weather starts getting nice, can't even drive it. We're going to have to take it to the body shop and have it repaired and fixed. That's your bonus footage. We'll see the Corvette back in about a month or so. But good news is, is the quick update on the Camaro is, is that uh, by the time you see next week's video, I should have the Camaro back, I, I hope. And uh, we'll start getting working on the interior of that. And I got some more stuff to do on the uh, pickup truck. So, new garage door, busted car. Yeah, it's always one for the other, isn't it? See you next time. Later.